Thanks everybody for uh, being here today, which is really a special day for all of us in the organization as it truly uh, kicks off the final season at Iverwind Stadium, brought to you by our friends and uh, partners at Tim Hortons. While the stadium has been here for over 80 years, and we're thrilled to work with Tim Hortons to celebrate all that great history. It's important to remember there have been playing fields in existence here for nearly 100 years. And we look forward to being on this site and bringing a brand new stadium on this exact site to kick off year 101 of community and great events and Hamiltonians and fans and people from all over southwestern Ontario coming to this location to enjoy all kinds of great entertainment and community events. Of course, of course, most importantly, we're here today to celebrate this stadium in its final season. And it is amazing to think that over 80 years ago, the stands in this stadium were constructed on these playing fields to hold, host the 1928 British Empire Games. And to think we're celebrating the final season in 2012 to make way for a brand new stadium in the 2015 Pan American Games. Could spend hours talking about all the great events and memories here at this stadium and of course all the great Tiger Cat teams. From 1928 to 1950, the stadium was home to events, both big and small, from hundreds of community events and international track meets to hosting two great cups, one won by the Hamilton Tigers in 1932 and the other won in 1944 by the Hamilton Flying Wildcats. For our organization, 1950 was the start of Iberwind Stadium being the home of the modern era Tiger Cat team when the Hamilton Wildcats and the Tigers merged and moved into Iverwind as their home facility. Since then, the history has been deep and rich. Home stadium for eight Great Cup Championship Tiger Cat teams, hosted world-class concerts and events, and of course, who can forget the 1975 Pink Floyd experience here. It's hosted two more Great Cup games since 1950, including the incredible 1996 game that I'm sure you all remember with the Argos over Edmonton. Who can forget the snow coming down out here in one of the truly iconic Great Cup games? Argos led by Doug Flutie and of course the great one-handed grab by Eddie Brown of the Eskimos to keep the Eskimos in the game. And while the Argos will always unfortunately lay claim to winning the final Great Cup game here at Iverwind Stadium, we're looking forward to returning the favor this year at the home field of the Argos for their 100th anniversary of the Great Cup. Of course, we, <coughs> excuse me, we've also witnessed two Vanier Cups in the stadium including one of the best of all time in 2005 when the Laurier Golden Hawks beat the Saskatchewan Huskies in a thriller 24-23. And it was great to fit to kick off this final season at Ivor win, of course, with the Outdoor Classic when Michael Anlauer and the Bulldogs uh, took on the Toronto Marlies. For me personally, this has been a stadium I've been coming to for more than 30-some years. I remember coming here in 1978 with my father as the radio color man for the Calgary Stampeders led by, I think, uh, John Huffnagel and, uh, and a lefty named Bruce Threadgill. <coughs> Steve Milton might remember him, nobody else. Uh, coming here every year with my father while he was the commissioner starting in 1983, getting a chance to hang out with uh, Harold Ballard and King Clancy every year. That was quite an experience. And of course, for me, uh, personally, the 2009 Eastern semifinal was really a great moment for all of us in the organization. I don't really remember the score in that game very well but it truly was the return of the Tiger Cats uh, to prominence in the CFL. I talked to uh, a lot of people and fans who've had great experiences all over the world with sporting events, but if you were here in 2009 at that Eastern Final, you remember how electric and exciting it was. And of course, we can only hope to exceed that by hosting the Eastern Final here on November 18th to officially close this facility this season. With those memories in mind, we want to pay tribute to this great stadium in 2012 by really focusing on who and what has made these experiences special. And that's the players and the fans. While the media, team executives and staff and even owners come and go, it's the players and the fans who make the stadium special. It's their blood, sweat and tears that have soaked this stadium, thick with great emotion, glorious victories and terrible heartbreak. With that in mind, it's all about the players and the fans in this final season of Ivor Wynn presented by Tim Hortons. I want to thank Tim Hortons very much, incredible partners through the years, and to have them celebrate this with us and to bring two iconic brands together is truly a special thing for Hamilton and southwestern Ontario. I want to personally thank the store owners from the Hamilton region and the Tim Hortons National Office. Both of their support was instrumental in bringing this program to fruition. Aaron Birch, a store owner, multiple store owner, will speak uh, to this in more detail. Uh, and We'll see the final season brand throughout the stadium 
and over 217 Tim Hortons locations in, in Tiger Town, from Burlington, Niagara to Kitchener and Waterloo. It's the single biggest partner initiative that we've had in our history here with the Tiger Cats, and we couldn't be more thrilled to be going through that experience with our great partners at Tim Hortons. You're going to see the logo, obviously featured prominently here today, featured throughout the stadium in Tiger Town to commemorate the final season. It'll be hard to miss anywhere you are in Tiger Town. It's on all of our print collateral materials, season tickets, which of course you've seen, would celebrate 10 of the great moments in Iverwind Stadium history, and signage throughout Iverwind Stadium, of course, on game days. Today we're also excited to announce uh, one of the great initiatives for this season that includes uh, and is all about the fans and the players. It'll be an all-time Tiger Cat team, uh, voted on 100% by the fans. It'll be an online, online fan vote uh, to determine the 28 greatest individuals to wear black and gold. Players were nominated by a selection panel that included over 30 members of the media, Tiger Cats alumni, and some of our longest-standing uh, fans. The process started in February. Uh, the uh, finalists are in. We will release that uh, before the season opening game. The, the position groups will be released during the season in kind of two week intervals, going position by position. And of course the all time team will be celebrated here at the final game at Iverwind Stadium with all of the players or representatives of the players here for that final game. We will have a website, microsite dedicated to the all time team. Fans will have the ability to discuss their picks and share their opinions of course during social media and we look forward to the passionate debate. I can't tell you how many times I've uh, had a chance to interact with fans in the last five years and previous to that and to have discussions about who were exactly the greatest Tiger Cats of all time. And this forum and this platform will give all of our fans the ability to do that. And again, the results will be 100% voted on by the fans. The closing ceremonies will be obviously on October 27th. You may have noticed uh, when we uh, work with the league to put our schedule together, that it was a 1 p.m. kickoff time that was particularly uh, uh, chosen to, to enable us to celebrate the history of our stadium that night with a great celebration. We're working on those details now. We have some exciting uh, initiatives. I think it'll rival any closing ceremonies of any of the iconic buildings in North America. And we'll be thrilled to bring you those details closer to the season. Each Tiger Cat fan in attendance will receive a commemorative keepsake to hold their ticket to the final game presented by Tim Hortons, both the keepsake and the, uh, the season. And of course, all the all-time Tiger Cats will be honored. We also uh, are lucky to have our wall of honor that, uh, uh, that game. We've talked about the nominees here today, Bob Krause, Willie Bathia. And of course, I think it's uh, only appropriate that we'll honor the 1972 team, Great Cup championship team, with uh, players like Angela Mosca, who are here today. And of course, the 1972 team was the last team to win a great cup here as a home team. Other final season initiatives, is game day focused on celebrating the memories of the players and the fans that evoked those memories all season. And of course, legendary tie cats will be brought back to each game, including Garney Henley, Joe Zuger, Paulus Baldiston, Danny McManus, and we're thrilled to hear today that uh, Earl the Pearl Winfield has confirmed his, uh, his appearance for the Labor Day game. We think it's Earl's first official appearance at Iverwind Stadium since he retired. As you can see on the season ticket stock, which we're excited about, I think they're brilliant uh, collector's items for everybody. Uh, they represent 10 of the greatest moments in Iverwind history and of course 10 of the greatest moments in, uh, in Tiger Cat history. To close up, of course, I would be remiss if I wouldn't talk about season tickets and the ability to buy tickets. Everybody, I think, is well aware of uh, the great guarantee that our terrific caretaker and owner has made uh, a, a very rare uh, uh, circumstance where ownership has guaranteed the same prices in the new stadium in 2014 with the prices you'll pay in 2012. We've had a phenomenal off-season, certainly the best off-season we've had in my five years here. Uh, the momentum has been terrific. Uh, we've sold almost double the amount of new season tickets we had in the previous two years combined. I don't think there's any question we'll be sold out in new season tickets uh, and, a new, and a new stadium come 2014. So having said all that, I want to thank you very much for all being here. I want to make a particular note again about uh, this stadium uh, and this closing of the stadium in this season being presented by Tim Hortons, being all about the fans and the players. It's all about their experiences here, and we're looking forward to celebrating with the fans and players all season long. Thanks very much.
Thanks, Scott. Uh, as a presenting sponsor of the final season of Ivor Win, obviously, Tim Hortons is a monumental part of uh, what we're doing this year. And to speak on behalf of Tim Hortons, uh, please welcome store owner Aaron Birch. Thanks, Scott. Uh, on behalf of the Hamilton area store owners, I would like to congratulate the Hamilton Tiger Cats on what will be a very special season here in Hamilton. Tim Hortons and the restaurant owners have been proud supporters of the Thai Cats for many years, helping the fans celebrate the team's storied history, great moments, players, and special place in Hamilton is an honor for all of us. From our restaurant support, we will be offering the medium cup with the banner of the uh, final season at Iverwin. We're going to have the football donuts with the logo of the final season. We are going to be giving away four tickets per, st per store in the Hamilton area uh, to each home game throughout the season. Um, with the stadium support and partnership with local minor football, we expect this season to not only be the final season to celebrate Ivor Wynn, but another great football season on the turf. Thank you and look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, our final speaker is no stranger to the stadium. No one has played more games at Ivor Wynn, and he is responsible for some of the most memorable moments uh, that have occurred on the field. Uh, you saw his, uh, his game-winning kick uh, in the 1998 East Final as you walked in on one of our tickets. And uh, while we're not ready to completely uh, unveil the list of, of the nominees for the all-time team, I'll guarantee you this guy will be on it as both a kicker and a punter. Please welcome on behalf of the Ticats players that have uh, suited up here, Paul Osbaldiston. Thank you very much. I, I did uh, play more games here, but somehow I did uh, do the least on the field that was uh, possible out there, considering uh, that the entire time I would go out, it would last about a second and a half, and uh, then I'd go back to the sideline and watch the guys go to work. It was uh, the best job in the world, trust me. Um, I wanted to thank uh, the Thai Cats for including me, and uh, Tim Hortons as well, um, mostly for inventing the blueberry fritter, um, <laughs> which I know expanded sales and also my uh, uniform about three or four times over my career. And, uh, you know, some days I wish we were sponsored by a salad company, but then I, I just wouldn't have the same uh, ring. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of individual memories out on this field. Um, you know, the very first season I played here, a uh, uh, game-winning field goal to put us in the playoffs that year that took us to the Cup in 86. Uh, another one in 89 uh, to beat the Bombers here. Uh, 92 and, of course, 98 as, uh, uh, as well. Um, those are very short memories that, that happen over a quick period of time, but for me and my family will obviously um, last a lifetime. But I think most of the time that I would come to the stadium, I, I think I could relate to why the fans in the city come here too. And that, that really is, you know, as a sanctuary to me. And it quickly became um, obvious to me that, that a lot of people come here, and I came here for the same reason. And that was no matter what was going on with your family at the time or how bad work was, whenever you were coming to the stadium, it was a place where you would go and it would completely change your day, completely change your, your, your week and sometimes your year. Because you're just so excited about the attitude and, and the environment and the excitement and the electricity in the air whenever you came to this place. And that's what made it uh, special to me. Um, you know, the Labor Day crowd, um, every game, every year you'd look forward to that because it was just so special. And, um, you know, I can relate now to, to, you know, stepping off the field and ending my career to becoming a true Hamiltonian, having both my uh, sons uh, born here. And, um, you know, probably the best memory I've ever had is bringing them to their first game here and uh, how special that was to me and how I'll never ever uh, forget that. One of the favorite things I always like to hear um, when I was at Ivor Wynn, ironically, was I hate this place. And that always came from the other team. I'll never forget one moment, my, my rookie year, uh, standing on the sidelines, like I always seem to do. And uh, we're playing Calgary at the time, and their quarterback threw an interception. And uh, on a peelback block, Mike Walker, our defensive tackle at that time, hit a running back by the name of Michael Jenkins so hard, just outside the numbers on our bench, that he flew through the air and went past me, bounced once on the turf and skidded into the dugout and hit the wall on the bench. And to give him credit, he got up with his helmet all twisted and blood pouring down his chin and started to walk through all our players, a little bit of a gauntlet on the way back to the bench and 
And here, you know, here came those words that you, you heard so often. I hate this place. <laughs> I just didn't like to play here. Uh, Mark McLaughlin, the same thing, trying a 27-yard field goal from that right hash there that landed just a little bit short on the, on the same hash on about the three-yard line because of the east wind off the lake. And you know, he talked to me after the game. He said, well, how do you do it here? And I said, I love it here. He said, I hate this place. <laughs> so it was always such a great advantage to us to, to be able to play here and know the fans and how close they were. And, and, and in turn, you know, being part of this uh, all-time Tiger Cat team was just an, uh, an incredible honor, something that I would have never thought, you know, coming here my first year that, that I would ever be a, a, a part of. You know, the, the memories go on from person to person and father to son and mother to daughter, but the names may change from Mosca to, to Covington or, you know, up to Montford, but uh, those memories are universal, and it's something that we all share as players and fans because the fans here are so close. You hear everything you say, they see you off the field, they become a part of it, and that what you know is going to make this uh, team so special is that once again the organization is bringing in the fans, and the fans are going to tell us who they think is the best Tiger Cat team of all time. And I'm very excited to be part of the last season, and uh, this part, the stadium, it, it becomes a part of you. It, it becomes the reason your, your heart beats and the blood flows through your veins. And for fans and players, that, uh, it's a pretty special place. So I'm excited that you know this is last year, and let's uh, let's honor the the old building the way that it deserves. So thank you very much. This is Jamal Johnson, and you're watching Tiger TV.